you you've kind of suggested that we ought to be humble about our very own existence and that our existence lasts only a short time. Uh, we talked about um, you losing your father and your mother. Uh, do you think about your own mortality? Are you oh, yeah. afraid of death? I'm not afraid. Uh, you know what Epicurus, actually Epicurus was a very wise person. Uh, uh, according to Lucretius, uh, Epicurus didn't leave anything in writing, but uh, he said that he's never afraid of death because as long as he's around, death is not around. And when death will be around, he will not be around. So he will never meet death. So why should you be worried about something you will never meet? Uh, you know, and it's an interesting philosophy of life. You know, you shouldn't be afraid of something that you will never encounter, right? But there, there's a finiteness to this experience. Which oh, yeah. we, we, we live every day. I mean, it, it, I think if we're being honest, we live every day as if it's going to last forever. We, we often kind of don't con contemplate the fact that it ends. You kind of have plans and goals and you have these possibilities. Uh, you, you have a kind of lingering thought, especially as you get older and older and older, that this is you know, especially when you lose friends, right? And then you start to realize, um, you know, it it, it does end. But I don't know if you really are cognizant of that. I mean, because well, so, but you have to be careful not to be depressed by it, because otherwise you lose the vitality, right? Yes. So I think the most important thing to draw from from knowing that you are short lived is uh, a sense of appreciation that you are alive. That's the first thing. But more importantly, a sense of modesty, because how can anyone be arrogant if they kept at the same time this notion that they are short-lived? I mean, you cannot be arrogant because anything that you advocate for, you know, you will not be around to, to do that in a hundred years. So people will just forget and move on, you know? And uh, if you keep that in mind, you know, the Caesars in ancient Rome, they, they had a person next to them telling them, don't forget that you're mortal. You know, there was a person with that duty because the Caesars thought that they're all powerful, you know? Uh, and uh, they had, uh, for a good reason, someone they hired to whisper in their ear, don't forget <laughs> that you're mortal. Yeah. 